A counter IED team from Resolute Support Headquarters traveled to TAC West for a four day training course focused on electronic countermeasures. We had a lot of participation from the class. We had a very good turnout from the class, and we had both a mix of Army personnel as well as police personnel from TAC West. So, a good mix, good diversity of soldiers and police from across the area. Training opened with an overview of how electronic countermeasures work and the best practices for employing the jammers to defeat remote controlled IEDs. And this jammer course is very highly valued for myself and my unit, which enables us to function on the battlefield more properly and more actively. And also I do like to appreciate the international friends, the instructors, who are training us in a best way, which is very, very simple, and enable us to learn very, very quickly and very, very uh, productively. According to the United Nations, IEDs accounted for more than 4,900 civilian casualties in Afghanistan the first half of 2015. RCIDs is one of the largest threats we see in, in Afghanistan, and the ECM is the system that we use to defeat those IEDs. So having the Afghans be capable of sustaining and maintaining those systems will set them up for success in the future, um, enable force protection as well as freedom of maneuver. This training is critical. It, it's helped setting the Afghans up for success in the future. It's giving them the tools, the knowledge, um, that knowledge base so in the future they can maintain their own systems uh, without the U.S. or the coalition's presence there. We'll get you a system, I promise. Thank you.